Yo, what up? This is your boy Sid Fly. Welcome back out the box. We had a great show last week, but like I told you, we here in Vegas. Magic show. We started out here at the Coogee booth. You know, you always need some stylist to dress up in. I ordered about like 10, 12 pair of pants and all that, having them delivered. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to show y'all what's going to be the newest and fastest coming up. The stuff you got to have in the closet. If you don't have it, you're going to be a buster. So go ahead, break out the credit card, get out the box. Magic show. Magic show. The Magic Show in Vegas. The center of the hip hop fashion world where rappers and designers meet to pick out trends you'll be wearing in six months from now. This, this is a journey into sound. Designers from every brand is represented here, and we started out to film all of them, but after having a few drinks with the girls from Hustler, we fell off track. If you work at 9 to 5 and you get shit done, you hustling. But if you sitting at home with three or four chicks and they ain't got nothing on, you struggling! This is a store for you. You got it, man. You got it. We've only been doing this for about a year now. Uh, in that year, we've amassed styles from everything from this fetish latex gear you see right here, which I think probably takes a great deal of effort to get into. Leather, skirts, hosiery. You can your whole wardrobe in Hustler, and some girls do believe me. Got my all access pass for the girls going wild. Usually they're taking off clothes. Now they got a clothing line. Follow me through, we'll see what we can find. This is a limited collection that will only be sold one time. So these are collector's pieces. Now if you plan to hang out with girls like these, you're gonna need a job. What are you gonna wear? The only thing you need to know about the switch to grown and sexy is you don't have to switch the tags in your closet. We stopped by with some of your favorite urban designers to see their take on the 9 to 5 corporate world. Like this two-piece suit from FUBU. Black crushed velvet. Pants and jacket, both with matching gold embroidery. Rhinestone bling crown. Then there's Sean John, flipping the game with their dress down suit and dress up hoodie. Then for all the Dow Jones players, Fat Farm keeps it Kanye with sweater vests and polos. So whether you're a college grad or a college dropout, you'll still attract those gold diggers. Sorry, Russell. We back here with Nick Cannon, Mr. Wild and Out himself. Yes, we here in front of B and B Nation. You know this. Fashion week, you know how it is. We gonna talk about the fashion sense. Yeah, yeah. As we can see, you got the big jewels on, a yeah, little yeah, bit of old school. Yeah, Let's yeah. talk a little bit about the old school fashion that we rocking on. And that's what P and B is all about. We bring a hip hop classic back. You know what I'm saying? I'm a child of the '80s. You know what I'm saying? 80s baby all day, child of hip hop. And realistically, man, I'm just expressing everything that I always wanted to express as a young man. You know I grew up loving this music, grew up loving this culture. Now that I got a chance to do what I can do, I'm embracing it, putting it back out there. What's your favorite guest so far on Wild and Out? Tyra Banks. Reason we all know why. Exactly, exactly. Any last titles anything you got coming up you want to let people know? Uh, Short Circuits, a new TV show on MTV is going to come on right before Wild and Out. Sketch comedy is crazy. Don't miss that. Even before Ron said, the game is all about kicks. From horse hairs to bling on white, we got you laced with some of the new exclusives for this season. Now we're over at Ava Rex, man. You know why I like Ava Rex? Flight attendants. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Ashley. And I'm Sarah Stage. I'm seeing fly. They go back a while, 1975, I think. People thought they were just about pilots, but all this like, they must be on the ground now. They walking. Got some good shoes right here. I don't know if I should go with the one with the plane on them. Should I go with the one with the eagle on them? I don't know. They just launching them. I'll probably be the first one you see in these. If I ain't, then that mean you're a cool person. Anyway, Ava Rex, the new shoe. Launch year, 2007. We're about to go fly out. My name is Lee Kersner from Brooklyn Remix and Enforce. We do have the hottest footwear out. We are the kings of custom kicks, hands down. Any other companies are straight fakes. On top of that, not only do we customize just kicks and have full sets of hats and shirts and everything, not only is our group the hottest, but we have two lines, Brooklyn Remix and Enforce. Step over here, you check out Enforce. Bottom line is, we only make so many. They're all customized. They are all one of a kind. You know, we print anywhere from 100 to 200 pairs of each, and then they're sold out. We close out the line. We back here, man, out the box. Shoes now, we doing shoes, man. I'm here with Egan from Luxury. He's showing us some nice stuff. You got dollar bills in your shoes. 
We got multi colors, all kind of stuff, man. Let them know a little something about this luxury company and things like that. Okay. A lot of footwear has been around for five years and we've launched our uh, luxury kicks line uh, about two years ago. All of our new shoes also come with a, a secret Velcro pocket underneath the tongue. All of your accessories, you know, money, keys, that kind of thing. That kind uh, of thing. We uh, make shoes with exotic materials, anywhere from pony skin leather to laser printed money prints. We use uh, suede, action leather, and enamel coated leather. A variety of materials. Y'all got a website or something like that they can contact Absolutely. you Absolutely. Please check out luxurykicks.net or blottofootwear.com. Okay. Y'all got that? Check it out. Check it out. I got a sneak preview of a pair of myself. See that? Yeah. Luxury Kicks. We out, man. We gonna do some more shots. We here at Unlimited by Mark Echo. If you notice that, that's the shoe. World famous Rhino brand. Been around for like two years. You've been seeing all kinds of stuff. You see they got a whole bunch of different styles. They got the patent leather bathing ape style. New crossovers going on. This is my favorite right here, the new graffiti shoe. Echo is always unlimited. Y'all in Colorado know he's helping our B-boys and our graffiti artists get away from some of that. You're not an Air Force One or casual shoe kind? Boom. Look at that. The patterns. Mark Echo. Whole different style. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a couple of these in my bag, man. I'm going to get a couple of these, man. Let me get this one. Old school dope, man. Mark Echo, man. Unlimited by Mark Echo. We'll see y'all at the other Echo group. Peace. For all my people out there in Cali, y'all know what 310 means. The rest of y'all, y'all think it's some kind of car shop where you can buy expensive stuff. Y'all might even think it's a place where it's pretty well invented, and you'd be right. But they also do shoes. Nas got a shoe company. Absolutely. We just did a deal with Nas right now. We have a new shoe coming out called The Disciple. It's going to come out July 07. Nas helped design the shoe right now. He's all in on board. You probably saw him on 106 in Park. It's probably going to be in his next video right now, but it's going to be an incredible adventure we have right now. So okay. we're going to keep it new and exciting out here. Because I noticed the black one don't have a QB sign. Like right. That's we're going to play with it a little bit. You know, we're going to play with it. You know, there's still a shoe to make it right now. Nas is still tweaking it, adding his little parts right now. There's a lot of things he wants to see to make sure it has an East Coast feel to it right now. He wants to stay true and credible to the image that he's created. That's what's up, that's what's up. How long y'all been doing shoes? How long did y'all was like, you know what? Everybody can't buy expensive cars. Right. But some people can't, everybody can buy expensive shoes. You know, when I first started this company back in 1999, I always said it was not about the cars. I knew I was about building a brand. See y'all got boots, see y'all got sandals. Besides the non right. love the hot things, but it's season coming up. And yeah, we have some incredible stuff. We got an incredible boot that I want to show you. We start looking at this, this is 310 right now. The face of this brand right now is Terrence Howard. Oh yeah, let me tell you about Terrence Howard. He's gonna be big this year. He's gonna blow up this. He has three major movies coming out. First movie being Pride. Everybody go out and see it. He's the face of the 310 brand. But all these shoes right now are is what he endorses right now. To me, this is hot. It's innovative. Everybody likes it. Everybody's buying it. It's gonna be in all the shows. Journeys, underground, finish line, everybody. That's what's up. So now y'all know, man. Go out to 310, get your car kitted, get your spring wheels put on there. Then you go into 310, get you some wood grain on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Terrence House, big up, man. Start out there for a pimp. Everybody go to 310.com. you find out all about us. 310.com.